Okay, we got the final tier here behind me. This is the uh, final tier, the creme de la creme of the residential walk behind. I call them push mowers. I know they have self propel, um, but the residential walk mowers. And let's talk about them in specific. I don't have every single model. I will start there. I'm missing two Honda options, and I apologize, just didn't order them. But this will give you a good understanding of what we have, why we have them. I'm sure by now I've expressed my feelings on Honda push mowers in general, so forgive me, Honda and Toro. Anyway, what we have here is the Toro Super Recycler. It's a 21 inch mower, so they make the blade an inch shorter. All these mowers have aluminum decks. So this deck is literally made with aluminum. It's thick, you can feel it. They call this a super recycler. This has the best cut of any push mower I think out there. They call it a bubble deck design. The way the air flows inside here is just really nice. It has these little things, little features here that kick the grass back into its cutting area. That's helping it mulch it better. Um, and just the rounded edges, everything underneath here is smooth and like aerodynamic in a specific way to create airflow that creates a very high quality cut and a very strong vacuum. I took one of these home one time, was mowing my lawn, and was on my sidewalk. I had the mower at full height, so four and a half or four, I think it's around four and a half inches, maybe four and three quarters. And there was a bubble wand. My kid was playing with bubbles. He had it on the sidewalk. I was two feet away from it. This stinking mower sucked the bubble wand up into the deck and shot it out the side like in one split second. I had no chance to even stop it. It has such high velocity uh, air volume coming through here. It is pulling like a powerful vacuum. And that's why it's called a super recycler. It's because it is. That deck is shaped in a way to create the best possible quality of cut. And so this is Toro's highest class push mower. Uh, on the far left, you can see their commercial 21 inch mower. I have this here simply for us to see it and to kind of understand it and see where, what it looks like compared to these three. But uh, we're not really gonna talk about it too much. Really, these super recyclers are the creme de la creme. If you have a really nice yard, if you have zoysia grass, if you have this immaculate St. Augustine, you need a tall cut. If you have this grass you really care about, if you're the, the lawn care nut in your neighborhood, if you're the guy who wants to brag to all his friends, this is the highest quality, best cutting push mower on the market. And there's some features they've included in all of these that make it cut really well. So they have the three engine options. This engine option you're familiar with that we talked about is the 7.25. 160cc engine. This is the 7.25 159cc Toro engine. And this is the 190cc uh, Briggs and Stratton engine with a new shroud on it I'm not familiar with. And it has smart stow, or you can store it vertically, right? You can do that with this one. The handles fold over, you can store it upright, and it has a bigger engine. And this one has electric start. So this is like the creme de la creme Mac Daddy one, right? This is like I just want all the good cutting features with a very reliable engine, right? This is that one. This is the one I really like. Uh, what do you guys think about the black paint job? I want to see a vote. Do you like the black or would you prefer it to be red? I think it looks cool. They're like Batman's mowers. I don't know. I really like them. Um, and then this one has the Briggs and Stratton engine. I think this is the least expensive one. And, and that's, you know, the other option. So let's talk about some features they've included on this that make these special. They have this thing called ISO mount bushings. Uh, that's something that's included on all of the super recyclers. And the point of that is as you're walking and you're bouncing, it allows your handle to flex without lifting the front of your mower. One other big difference, there's like a $100 price jump when you get into one of these. And with that, you get the aluminum deck, it's thicker, but you also get a five year warranty on engine and transmission wheels, the whole deal. So it cuts better, it's less likely to bounce, so that's good, it has a five-year warranty. Other features about this that are different than the mid-class 
The wheels are built more heavy duty. The rubber is thicker on them. It's almost an entire inch of rubber. So it's going to last you longer. Um, the way that this wheel adjusts, that whole mechanism is definitely heavier duty. It's beefier. There's a big, thick aluminum block that these wheels are mounted to. It's definitely more robust. There's more internal plastic on these front wheels. They're thicker, they're heavier. If you were to weigh them, I bet these weigh almost like 40% more than the standard white wheels you see on the normal push mowers. It has the metal gear inside and the metal gear on the wheel, which is nice, and the thicker wheels, so that's nice. One thing that's different is it has a plug in the back, so it doesn't have that little flap. This to change it from mulching to bagging, you have to pull this plug out. And some might think that's like a, a cheaper feature, but you know, it's just something that oh, it's simple and it works and it's heavy duty. That other mechanism can get jammed with grass and you have to reach your hand in there and kind of pull yourself out, obviously without the mower running. But this doesn't get jammed. So when this is inserted and you're mulching, this is what's going to cause your mower to have a better cut than a standard recycler. The super recycler has cut quality as its utmost mission and priority. They made sure that the plug that changes it from mulching to bagging, even that is designed with airflow in mind. So it has the kick plate, so it kicks grass into the recycling like channel, so your blades keep mulching. Um, so this was intentional. On the other one, it's just kind of like a, a flat spot, and it normally can get kind of clogged with grass. I never really had it quality cut issues, but as far as actual quality of cut, the super recycler definitely wins in the quality. This mower comes in, I think, at $4.99. Very good mower. This is an interesting mower. I actually don't normally stock this, and we might start stocking it. It's pretty amazing. Has a big engine, has electric start, has some really cool features, uh, and I know it's going to cut good. So that's pretty nice, too. As far as me, I'm a very practical person. I like things simplified. I like to keep it simple. Uh, if I had to pick out of this lineup, it's normally also a Honda. I would probably stick with the Toro engine on the Super Recycler. That engine to me is powerful enough to do anything you need to do. I've never had a bogging issue. I've never had it uh, not be strong enough. Even though it is the smallest CC engine available almost on all of these models, the Toro engine just seems to be powerful enough. It does a good job. So I'm going this one. It's pretty awesome. Um, I wanted to show you my five picks for my favorite mowers. I'm going to line them all up here. I'm going to walk through each of them and why I picked them. And when you're thinking about shopping a mower, this is the Toro's entire lineup. This was 22 mowers we just reviewed in one video. Not many people are doing that. I don't think anyone's made this video yet. But I'm going to show you my five, my top five, and why. And I'm going to try to keep it simple and wrap it up here in just a minute. Uh, let me change, get them all in the right spot. Hold on. the mowers that I would recommend if you had to pick one of all of these 22 these are my top five and I kind of chose these specifically on price on features on function and on reliability if you have a small budget and you just need a basic push mower you have a postage stamp lawn you don't have money you don't plan on mowing your grass lawn you plant long you plan on if you own a rental property in the person who rents it doesn't own a mower and you're going to give them one and they have to mow the grass as part of the deal and you don't want to give them the most expensive one, right? The cheapest mower. I think this is a fine cheap mower. I would buy this over a Bolin's. I would buy this over a cheap Troy Bill. It's a push mower. It's basic. The wheels are small. They're a little flimsy. But it's going to get the job done, right? It's a cheap mower. I'm not saying this has my highest recommendation. But as far as my top five for trying to think of a mower for everybody, I would start with this one. If you're really got to spend as least as possible, you go here. My next choice, if you're still in that, can't spend much money. I don't have that much money to spend. I can't. I do. I don't want a rear wheel drive. I only like front wheel drive. I would go with this Bridge and Stratton with the 7.25 Bridge and Stratton. This is front wheel drive. This has the, the smart stow, so you can stow it in your garage. 
I think it's a good mower for the price. Yeah, it's not going to last you forever. The front wheel drive is probably going to get jacked up, uh, you know, three, four years from now. But it's going to be a good mower for now, and it's going to stow nice and easily for you. Keep it out of your way. I think it's a great starter mower. Someone who just bought a house or is renting, uh, and they want to have self-propel, but they don't want to spend a whole bunch of money. I, I don't think this is a bad machine. But it's not my favorite, but out of the cheap ones, it's probably my favorite. The mid-class. I have two that I like from the mid-class. These are my two mid-class favorites. Um, this one is the Briggs & Stratton with rear wheel drive, but it has large rear wheels. That's a really unique feature. You don't see it often. People have talked about it and requested it a long time, and Toro made it. It's pretty neat. So it has large, big wheels in the back, and it's rear wheel drive. So that's kind of neat. And it has smart stove, so you can stow it vertically and uh, it has all the other good features. And when you get the smart stove, it has this nice foldable handle. It's really quick. You don't have to do the knobs. So there's some nice features that I think are good about this rear wheel drive with the Bridges Stratton. Um, you can get this at your local dealers. You can get this at the big box stores. I don't think it's a bad machine. I like the engine. I think it's price is fair. And it has some good features that I really think are good. Um, but my favorite mid-class mower is the Toro with the Toro rear wheel drive. It's simpler. It doesn't have the nice handles. It doesn't have the stow feature. So you're gonna need a little more garage space. I just prefer this engine. I don't know why. I have one, I like it, I see them less, they, they last a long time, and I just think they're better. So this is my number one pick for a conscious buyer who wants the most bang for the buck. Both these, I'm not sure, I wasn't taking the wheel off this one. But this one has a metal gear inside of this rear wheel that's very strong. Uh, part. It's going to last you a long time. It's going to hold up over time. And I think that's a really great feature. It cuts really nice. I mean, it cuts the same as this one and that one, but it's, it's a nice machine. As you can notice, it doesn't have those little kickback plates. So it doesn't function the same way as the Super Recycler. It's not quite as tidy and streamlined as the Super Recycler. And this is that rear flat function. You can see it here, maybe. It gets the job done. If you have a house, your first house, you're going to be mowing for the next five, ten years as you, you know, fix your house up. You need a good, reliable mower. This is a fantastic mower. I think the price is $3.99. It cannot beat this mower. It's just a fantastic little mower. Works perfect. It's exactly what you're looking for. If you got the maxed out yard, you got the soy jalon, you got the centipede, you got the crazy uh, Kentucky bluegrass, and you have, you want to strike, you want to make it look fantastic, you want to just wow all your neighbors. You drive a Lamborghini, but you want to mow your own lawn. Bam, baby! Go this route. Toro engine, which is my favorite, with the super recycler, blacked out, with like a flat black, really nice paint job. 21 inch mower with the best cut you can get. Has the isolation, the isoflex dampeners in it. It just works, guys. It works very good. And it's only $100 more. And with $100 more, you get a lot of features. You get heavier, thicker wheels. You get better mounting points for your uh, cut of height levers. Your rear wheels, the bushings are greasable. They're not greasable on this. You can kind of see there's some features about this that are just stronger. So it's like the best of this put into, uh, you know, a more robust, stronger one version, plus way more warranty. Um, so I really think this is an amazing option and you're going to get your value. You can own this for five years and still sell it used for 250 bucks. And you know what? You didn't lose that much because it's a very high quality mower. You buy one of these, you use it for a few years, it's gonna be worth a hundred bucks. So, you know, that's something to think about. If you ever plan on upgrading over time or replacing it, this is gonna hold its value very, very well. Um, I'm curious what you guys think about the black paint job. That's a new thing they did for 2020. Uh, Toro had votes on it, debates on it. They had other options in mind. It used to be red. I think it looks amazing, but I'd be curious, comment in the comments just if you like black or if you thought red is better. They even had somebody talk about doing it with a clear coat just on pure aluminum. I think that looks kind of neat, like a DeLorean or something. Uh, maybe next year they'll do that. But I think the black is neat and I, uh, I, I really appreciate it. Guys, thank you for staying tuned so long. 
That is the full 2020 lineup of the Toro residential walk mowers. Thank you for watching. These are my top five. You might differ, other people might differ, but I have a lot of experience with them and I think these are good top five picks. If you like this video at all, please subscribe to our channel. We're making videos like this all the time and we're trying to keep you guys informed and up to date on what Toro and what other brands like Steel, Honda are all doing. Um, and if you're interested in buying one of these mowers and you live in Central Florida, come see me and my brother Stu at Main Street Mower in Winter Garden and we'll hang out with you. We'll help pick out which mower is best for you. I appreciate you watching our channel. Subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.